Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source for what's happening now in the world of electric cars. Today, we're going to talk about how we can get almost $60,000 off of the semi truck. Uh, that's also probably going to lead us right into the uh, tax credit thing that's happening here in the United States. It's looking pretty good, actually, I have to tell you. Of course, the comment of the day will be about Model 3. And I, I got a Evanex car cover that I wanted to tell you about, a, a quick video about my experience. Um, this is, you know, this is why Evanex is a sponsor of this channel, because I enjoy their product. So let's start right now. All right, for those of you who are joining me for the first time, welcome to my channel. If you're interested in what's happening in the world of electric cars, you came to the right place, please uh, consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything moving forward. But most importantly, become a part of this community. All right, let's get going with the very first story, which is uh, kind of cool. It came out yesterday and I saw it on electric, which basically features a lot of great electric car stories. Um, and uh, it's uh, the fact that um, we, we kind of forgot that the tax credit or tax incentives, you know, we haven't really thought about them uh, in the context of a semi truck. But now it's actually happening in Ontario, Canada, province of Canada. They are going to be implementing a tax incentive. It's not even tax incentive. I believe it's going to be like a rebate and it's going to be 75,000 Canadian dollars. That is just a little under uh, 60,000 American dollars. And this is for people, well, companies also buying the um, well, semi trucks, but also I believe uh, just the industrial vehicles. And uh, I know there's some political stories behind it because there's a company in there in Ontario that's making it. it but but overall, this is a great story because you know they Tesla once again and anybody else who's going to be making electric vehicles for the you know commercial industries, they are going to catch a break and be able to compete with the uh, gas trucks, though, in case of Tesla, I'm not really sure if it's even necessary. But this is good news. Also, I think this starts conversation about what about the rest of the world or the rest of the country, uh, United States, uh, Europe, I know there's still time, well, you know, for about two years until Tesla is going to be rolling out their trucks. But there are companies that already rolled out uh, their versions. I know most of them have about a 100 mile uh, range, which is not that great. But it is something to think about that, you know, why not let electric vehicles and electric technology compete in uh, in industry in commercial industry. So I thought it was pretty cool I, I never actually i haven't even thought about it until i saw the article today so um uh agent rr says uh alex glad you're a power back yes i know for those of you guys who watched my stream yesterday i had to do it in from inside of my car because in a twist of irony we had a power outage scheduled power outage actually um so i couldn't really do the setup i had to go back you know back into my car and then i had to move and it, it was it was weird but by the way i'm gonna have to do it again uh, next week because there's another scheduled power outage so don't get me started actually let me know in you in the chat uh and if you're watching this in the replay uh in your comments let me know would you rather have me do a live show next week when I have a power outage uh, in the car, you know, old school, I guess, just me and a selfie a camera and a stick, or would you rather have me pre-record a show like this and then just upload it at 11 o'clock the next day? I'm, I'm curious what you uh, you would uh, you would like to do, because I'm actually up for either one. Uh, Mr. Carico 3 says, well, 60,000 is a nice incentive to buy a semi. Yeah, I think it went for some of us, right? At $60,000 off, I might just consider it. So, all right, well, that leads leads me into the story I was trying to cover yesterday, and it's still right now not enough information. But here we have a, a, a bill that's just about to be voted on. As you know, in Congress, we have uh, two houses, they passed uh, two different versions of the uh, tax bill. Now they have to put them together. And of course, the reason we're talking about it is because the tax bill uh, um, originally look I everybody thought was taking away the $7,500 federal uh, tax credit for those who buy electric cars, which is a pretty big hit, especially for some of the cars like Model 3, Nissan Leaf, uh, Chevy Bolt that are, you know, uh, under 40,000 uh, uh, price range. So th there is no confirmation really, but it looks like the final bill 
will keep the incentive. So we don't want to celebrate just yet because that would be pretty cool. Uh, and let me remind you that originally this uh, tax credit was passed by a Republican uh, Congress, really, with a Republican president, George W. Bush. Um, I originally thought it was during Obama era, but actually I was wrong. Somebody in the comment section corrected me and I looked it up and that is correct. Um, all right, so I will keep my eye on it, guys, because it is something that's really going to affect the sales of uh, electric cars here, here in the United States and, uh, and I'll keep you guys updated. Now, of course, a reminder that this video and uh, this uh, channel is sponsored by Evanex, the aftermarket accessories for uh, elect uh, for Tesla. And, you know, I want, as you guys know, I'm a customer uh, and I got myself a, a, a product, a couple of them actually the other day. One of them is a car cover. So let me kind of uh, uh, show you my experience with it. Uh, here, as you can see, it comes with it in a in a pretty nice bag, which is pretty cool. Um, and by the way, the whole damn thing fits back into this bag again, which sometimes is not the case. Um, pretty easy to take it out. By the way, you you're watching. I, I taped this video as I was literally the, this was my first experience with this uh, with this product. Okay, so you kind of watching me figure this out as we go along. I, I basically, you have to roll it. You got to put it on top of your car. You got to roll it all the way to to your all you know all the way to the uh, front of the car which is a challenge for guys who are not very tall like myself <laughs> but yeah i finally got it out and you know you know it's pretty easy you just you, there are no hooks or anything like that you go around uh that space the netting above the wheels and it's also there is some on front is so the battery can easily cool off um, and there is also a little space for the charging port so you can actually um, have it charged a while you have it. Now, of course, it's easy to not figure it out and tangle in this thing uh, and, and really could be quite frustrating sometimes if you're not doing things right. But what really helps is to fix your hair right after that. And of course, uh, do some uh, anger management right there. Yeah. Oh, and of course, uh, they always come with this uh, extra hangers and extra little things that you can use at the supercharger location. So, um, but all Evanex product uh, comes with that. So, you know, that was, it took me maybe like two minutes to put it all, uh, you know, uh, on top of the car and have it all secure. Just like I said, they're on the hook. So you just have to just kind of put it, put it out uh, all together. Now I'll tell you why I'm going to be, the reason I got it is because not so, you know, I already have a garage and a lot of you have a garage. However, as you know, my car got broken into, you know, a few weeks ago and there's a video on my channel but the um the uh the reason i'm getting it is because uh when when you parked somewhere out when you when you're out and you park your car and you know you there's a possibility it might be broken into you might put the car cover on it because you know taking it out or off and and that attracts a lot of attention and thieves usually like to get things done within 30 to 60 seconds and that obviously adds to that and also they don't even know what kind of car it is because the actual cover doesn't really say tesla it just says evanex a little in small letters so it, they wouldn't even know what kind of car it is so uh, most of the time if you park the neighborhood where you might you have a chance of your car, uh, car broken into this car cover might actually be an answer so that that was my experience i you know i i was very happy with the product just like with uh, all other evanex products um so it's um if you're interested the link is of course in the description of this video so thank you evanex once again um let's move on to another uh story which is um tesla sending out yet another batch of invitations to the Model 3 reservation holders. Now, this is a third wave already. As you know, yesterday uh, uh, there was news that uh, suppliers who are originally, you know, suppliers, the companies that, especially in China, that are supplying parts for Model 3, originally were at, they were the orders were for 5,000 units per week as Tesla was hoping to ramp up their production by December. Well, as you know, they were asked to roll it back because Tesla realized they weren't going to be able to ramp it up to 20,000 per month. But now those suppliers are reporting that Tesla once again asked them to ramp it up to 5,000 items per you know, per week, which means they're expecting the production to move forward and reach 20,000 units, 20,000 Model 3s per month. Now, a lot of people are saying, great, like, let's go and every well, don't forget, they're going to start making those cars, uh, uh, parts, then they're going to have to ship them from China, then they're going to have to receive them here and start in making the cars. And, you know, each car uh, takes about three or four weeks to 
make. So we're, ta we're talking about at least six months, but most likely eight or nine months, sorry, at least four weeks, uh, four to six weeks. But really, realistically, we're talking about a couple of months here. So there's a good reason to get excited because it's happening. I mean, this is uh, some best uh, information that we got as far as Model 3 is being made at, uh, or at least very close to being made at the production rate that we were kind of expecting. So that is good news. Yet another confirmation and more emails uh, going out uh, for the Model 3 reservation holders, which of course is awesome. Um, favorite part of the show? Oh, okay. So there's some questions. How much is this Tesla P85D? I actually forgot how much I paid for it because I ordered a couple months ago. But if you go to evanx.com, uh, you can you can uh, see it. It's pretty easy to browse the website. Sorry, I probably should have mentioned that. Um, do you have or Tesla has a tracer for a car when it's stolen? Well, if thieves don't turn your uh, app access, so well, then you can easily track it. I believe there was some scenario a couple of weeks and a few weeks ago where the Tesla was a few of them were stolen from the showroom and they were easily tracked and uh, everybody got arrested. So that's pretty much your best scenario is to make sure your app connectivity is on. Uh, uh, Gina in the chat room says, could you work the other way too, though? Not knowing what is under the cover makes it more tempting. He's talking about the Evan X car cover. Yes, I guess it could. But just like I said, if, if you watch my uh, other video about how to avoid uh, having your car broken into, that's on my channel. Uh, you know, I based it a lot on this interviews of former car thieves that now become sort of experts on how to avoid it. And they're saying, listen, we want to be in and out about 30 to 60 seconds. So we, even if we know there's something valuable, there what's more valuable for us is not getting caught so if we have to go uh, a parking lot or a block away from that location and and pick for at another car in this area there's tons of nice cars then that's what we're gonna do rather than picking it under the uh, you know you can get caught peeking right that's an extra attention that you're getting so yes it will probably attract more attention of like curiosity attention but I'm not really sure if it will attract more attention is like let's definitely get to this car because it does take time to take it off and it does attract a lot of uh, attention. Um, only real idiots steal Tesla, says Bromance. Well, you know, if they're smart thieves, they can steal Tesla and then disable the access, though I think Tesla might override it. I'm, I probably should check on that, but Tesla probably can override it. Um, all right, so, okay, well, let's get to the comment of the day, guys, before I forget. <laughs> and of course, this is about that stockpiling uh, of uh, Teslas in their delivery center in Fremont and in Los Angeles, Nick Masters. And of course, I picked this comment simply because he is a fellow hockey player. Uh, all right, but his comment was uh, uh, about why, because I was wondering why are they holding so many Model 3s there instead of just delivering them, right? We want them on the road. Well, he says, and there are a few other comments were very similar to this. He says, maybe they're holding the Model 3s from being delivered until the beginning of the first quarter of 2018, or maybe it has something to do with EV tax credit as well. So, you know, there are a few people who made that comment, but guys, maybe I don't, maybe I'm missing something, but I, I, it really doesn't matter whether they deliver these cars this quarter or next quarter because they, um, they're not going to reach to 100,000 cars now in this quarter. So it's really a moot point whether they sell this few couple of thousand cars here or the next quarter. Whenever they're going to reach 200,000 cars, well, that if it's at the end of certain quarter, then it might matter to slow down the deliveries and maybe get into the next quarter. That makes sense to me. But right now we're nowhere clear close to 200,000 um, and we only have two weeks left in this quarter so in this month so I'm not really sure how would that work however it gave, did give me another idea maybe they are holding them so they can add maybe extra couple two or three thousand units of model threes delivered in the next quarter maybe they've already conceded to the fact that okay we're just not going to deliver that many this quarter and the expectations are low so why meet those low expectations and and transfer those two or three extra thousand cars to the next quarter when it will really matter because people will really be uh, expecting them to meet their expect uh, to meet their promises uh, so i think that might actually be not a unreasonable thing to do let me know what you think in the chat or in the live comments uh, in the in the re in the comment section when you're watching this in the replay but that's going to be my number one guess for now but thank you for all of the comments by the way as you know i read all of them even the ones that uh, are not always uh, electric car friendly or Alex friendly sometimes. 
<laughs> my shirts get a lot of attention i have to say for some reason but uh i like them um let's see uh do you think i should use a model 3 to do to do lift oh that's a great question jasm's world is asking that question you know what i'm running out of time right now because i'm trying to keep this uh usually to 15 minutes or so why don't you post your comment in the comment section once this video is uploaded i might just make a section out of it and features a comment of the day tomorrow and we'll talk about it because that's like you know that's a lot of people are probably go going to be using model 3 for that because you know much cheaper fuel if you will so great question and please post it in as a comment and i will get to it tomorrow because i'm running out of time unfortunately right now so with that said thank you once again everybody for joining me it's always fun to hang out with you guys um and uh i've been doing these for uh, at 11 a.m every day of course please check out and support me on patreon the link is also down in the description i also got some t-shirts that i came up with that i thought was funny also in the description of this video all right guys i will see you tomorrow and remember to stay charged <laughs>